Hey everybody, Jason Burmis here, and we're going to talk a little bit about DARPA, DARPA, DARPA. Look, I've done a lot of stories about this in the past, in my career, and the bottom line is technology is very much what? A double-edged sword. It can be used to what? Empower humanity or enslave them. And especially when we are talking about technology that will interface with the human brain, we have to be very, very wary of what exactly it's going to do. Now, in the past, DARPA has come up with interfaces that allow people who have lost limbs to control them through their mind, okay? Now, some of these people are absolutely paralyzed. They have uh, things inside of their brain, inside of their brain, and again, done this uh, in the past for We Are Change, News for a Change. And the thing is that what people don't understand is that DARPA has not only a, uh, a YouTube page where a ton, a ton of this stuff is up, but they're also pretty open on Twitter as well. I follow them on Twitter. I, I check out their, their YouTube page. Um, here they are talking about the story we're going to be talking about, mind-controlled weapons. They give out press releases. They're rather open in what they have done, at least for what the public has seen. Now, what's worrisome to me is that this next project, it's not just a brain interface with, say, something implanted. Yes, brain chips are real. DARPA brags about them and have talked about those types of interfaces with uh, a coit, I think it's, oh man, it's, I, th I think it's coital, uh, uh, interfaces. He said he talked about uh, two nickels stacked together, about that in the back of your brain, and uh, you would get a very crude interface of almost like a, an alarm clock or LED over your vision. Sounds impossible, but it was done years ago. Okay, but absolutely not impossible. And now the headlines are reading the government is serious about creating mind controlled weapons. And this is where it's going to get hairy. This is where it's going to get dangerous. Here's their press release. Six paths to non-surgical future of brain-machine interfaces. Because they've already done the surgical part. The stuff that's classified is probably so mind-blowing that people would have a hard time accepting it. Okay? But remember, this is a military project. Okay? So let's, let's talk about that. For the military's uh, primarily able-bodied population to benefit from neurotechnology, non-surgical interfaces are required. Yet, in fact, similar technology could greatly benefit clinical populations as well. Oh, so not just the military. By removing the need for surgery. Hmm. Think about that. They've been surgically altering U.S. military soldiers for years. And three systems seek to expand the pool of patients who can access treatments such as deep brain stimulation to manage neurological illness. Now, when we're talking about neurological illness, we have to understand this article from 2016. Um, this woman was successfully erasing the memory of mice now, mice sharing 94% of our DNA by killing off certain cells. Again, all of this is public. So they were actually able to erase, um, erase uh, a specific memory. So re let's read this. Jocelyn began to suspect that she had stumbled onto Lansing's engram, but it took her nearly 10 years to come up with real proof. In 2009, her team demonstrated that they could erase a specific memory in mice by killing a certain set of cells. More than a cent uh, century after Lashley began his search for the engram, Jocelyn finally found it. Now to me, this is extremely dangerous that we would allow that type of brain manipulation. Think about it, we're not talking about surgery anymore, now we're talking about uh, brain machine interfaces that right now you have to put on your head for stimulation. What happens when the technology gets so good that that's no longer something that's necessary. Oh, Jason, you're talking about a science fiction future. Well, science, yes. Future, yes. Fiction, no. Fiction, no. And one of the other really disturbing things about DARPA, in my opinion, something that needs to be watched, is when they're talking about 
uh, internet spectrums, wireless spectrums. What do they want to rule it? AI. AI. They want artificial intelligence to rule over um, the different spectrums of wireless data that will be out there. All of this coming on the heels of a push for 5G, for automation, for instant access to almost everything. DARPA, a military outfit. That's what they are, DARPA.mil. This is the outward face of the military industrial complex. And while all this kind of goes on in the background and we're eased into it, the regular population is set for a commercial device, a commercial brain interface device uh, called Neuralink that Elon Musk has been talking about for some time. Uh, the first time that I heard about it at length, it was when he was talking to Joe Rogan. He said that it already was something that most people would not be ready for, would not believe existed, couldn't believe how far it had gone. Um, you know, months later, we still have not seen this surface. We still haven't seen a demo of it. But when we're talking about these brain machine uh, interfaces, we're talking about the military industrial co complex. They're just talking about millions. They've, they've put billions of dollars into this over the years. And, you know, everybody wants to talk about the dystopic television shows like uh, Black Mirror and all that. Look, these are very, very much a reality. And soldiers have been doing this for a long time. There are many soldiers out there that do already have BMI surgically implanted no matter how crude they are. And I know that sounds like something out of the $6 million man in the 70s, but it's here. It's absolutely here. And let's read a little bit from uh, this live science uh, piece on the government is serious about creating mind-controlled weapons. I mean, when you have autonomous everything over there, autonomous flying drones going through uh, different things, you know, working on making big dogs more autonomous, um, the large mechanical animals that uh, help soldiers carry things, you know that they want them to be smarter. They want them to be better, and they're working on that. You look at the human-esque robots that DARPA, Boston Dynamics, MIT, all part of the same thing, have done. It's alarming. It's very alarming. So DARPA, the Department of Defense's research arm, is paying scientists to invent ways to instantly read soldiers' minds. Yeah, that's not a that's not a privacy issue. That's not a Fourth Amendment issue when somebody can just get into your brain. No big deal there. Using tools like genetic engineering of the human brain, nanotechnology, and what? Infrared beams. Again, when you have AI controlling the entire wireless spectrum of information, you have to wonder if you're even going to need these type of interfaces on your head. How much will the technology advance? The end goal Thought-controlled weapons like swarms of drones that someone sends to the sky with a single thought or the ability to beam images from one brain to another. Think about that. I think of something. I think about you wanting to see that thing. You see that thing. You experience that thing. This is no longer fiction. This is not the Twilight Zone. This is 2019 reality. This week, DARPA... Uh, announced that six teams will receive funding under the Next Generation Non-Surgical Neurotechnology uh, Program. Participants are asked with developing technology that will provide a two-way channel for rapid and seamless communication between the human brain and machines without requiring surgery. Again, they want to make sure they can get into your head, they can control a good little soldier, even if they won't, don't want to take surgery. Because a lot of people are going to resist going into an operation where you put a device into somebody's brain. Cortical implants. I said coitus implants. Cortical implants. I'm sorry. They have already done cortical implants. I've talked about that. I've shown their videos. You know what? Let's just show. Let's go to DARPA's YouTube. DARPA YouTube. And, and let people know that, again, these guys put a lot of this online. So here it is. And I want to say that the cortical stuff, I mean, was years and years and years ago. We're talking about, I don't know, three, four years ago. This is eight months. Uh, we keep going. But there is a ton, a ton of stuff here. 
like I said, you know, you're talking about limbs being controlled. And remember, a lot of those controlled by the mind now without surgery. It's already here. They'll fit you with like a, uh, a plastic mold that, you know, they've tried to do with 3D printing. Uh, they went out back to traditional means in some cases because it's just that much tighter. But again, somebody thinks they're controlling limbs. And for instance, this one from three years ago, I especially highlighted. Um, but like I said, you keep going down here. And you're going to have these people talking about cortical implant interfaces. They're going to show you the robots they're building. And now they're working on six separate programs to have people use their minds to control weapons. It's a military program. Meanwhile, people like Musk are trying to bring that technology into a commercial use for you and I. Strange times indeed. And like I've said before, technology is nothing more than, say, a hammer. I can build a house. I can bash someone's head in. That's the thing. And hopefully, when we see a commercial use for this, it won't be a back door to enslavement, but it will be a tool for empowerment. However, we have to be very aware how dangerous this stuff is. And, you know, we have to somehow put the kibosh on letting the military move forward in a manner that really just takes over the human soul. The human soul. Whether you believe in that or not, I don't know. But I certainly believe that we're more than just flesh and bone. Folks, if you like this video, if you're into actual information, please hit that subscribe button. Join the Burmis Brigade. Share this on social media. And you know what? Forget about ringing the bell for notifications. They might not give you the notifications anyway. Go up into your browser. Hit that little star button. And that way it's a favor and just come back. We're doing a ton of videos here a day. One, two, three, four, five, six. I haven't broke out over six. I've been talking about 10. I may get 10 up one day. I'm, I'm really trying. And with your support, with your help, I'm going to continue bringing you guys real news. So don't forget me to tell what you like in the comments section. And I will see everybody on the flip side.